This is Isaiah 59 and verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverseness. Kal halal yahawabah Hashem yahawah shai Hashem rakwa kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news for four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. I've called this lesson Refuge of Lies. We're piling on here looking at the, the character of this liar. The earth has been given to this man. It's in temporary charge. What man? It's the white man. That's what he wants you to call him. But that's a social construct. 1681 is when he first started calling himself that with a bunch of privileges for himself and the opposite for the other nations, in particular the Hebrew Israelites, which he wants them to, should say us, to call ourselves all manner of derogatory terms. But these nations, our true identity is in the scriptures. And this man is the Edomite, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, the children of Israel. He functions under these lies, uh, built his empire on lies and defeat, deceit and, and violence, calling us Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they disperse the diaspora. We're spread to the four corners of the earth. And so he's built his regime, his queendom, on lies, deceit, plunder, rape, murder. That's all he does. Bounces around the earth with his weapons, bullying and raping and taking everybody's stuff. And so this lesson, Refuge of Lies, we just picked out just a handful of scriptures that talks about this man's attributes, just who he is. It's like an unfair fight. We're just piling on here. The Bible is filled with this man's, it's telling us who he is. He's a liar. For your hands, we re return back to this scripture here, Isaiah 59 verse 3, for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. That's multiple sins. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. That's all they do in the media as I speak. They're scurrying around, trying to get people to shut up. Because the truth, the reveal, re meaning back and veil meaning, the veil, it's been peeled back. I said in a previous lesson, we'll keep saying it. You've been laid bare, we know who you are, what you look like, what you stand for. And so it doesn't matter how many times you, you remove channels, you bully, beat people, get, get them to retract statements, find them, threaten them. It's not going to change the oracles that is in this book of our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahawa, meaning he is he to be the existing one, the ancient of days. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is our redeemer, savior, high priest, and mediator in the heavens. Let's look back, get a few more scriptures here. There really is no end to the scriptures that tells us exactly who we're dealing with. Psalms 62, verse 4. They consult to cast him down from his excellency. Who's that? Is it Jacob? That's who they want to cast down. They've planned up with their, with their friends. That's Psalms 83, all the other nations, to hide who we are. This verse here says, they delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. See, we're just going to skip across basically these verses here. Where next? 101. Psalms 101 <clears throat> and verse 
7. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. The Most High will not tolerate this man. <coughs> We're next. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 29 and verse 12. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. See, and this phrase, this verse here is repeated. <coughs> some, some slight variations. That the people are as the ruler. You see? And this man, he just promotes lie after lie. And anyone who dares to point them out, he starts jumping up and down talking about anti this, anti that, anti that. And so you've got to shut up or else. He uses his weapons, which are many. He has all of the earth's resources. And so he can bully and threaten everyone and hide his true narrative and his true self, at least up until now. <coughs> Isaiah 28, 15 to 17. Because ye have said... We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. So when the, the scourge, all these plagues are going to come, this man thinks he can hide himself. Therefore thus saith the our power. Behold, I lay in Zion for foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone. A sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. You see? Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, like a measuring instrument. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. So real destruction is coming to the inhabitants of this man and all those of us Hebrew Israelites who adjoin themselves unto him and all of his wickedness and his covering of lies and deceit when we're talking about his the refuge of lies where were we going to go next can I remember if I already read Isaiah 59 Yes, we started with that one. Or Jeremiah. Jeremiah 9 and verse 3. Uh, yes, I think we read this one in previous lesson. Let it come out again. And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. Oh no, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, saith the Lord. They just, they hate the truth because it exposes them. Where next? I'm going to go, let's see, Psalms 144 and 11. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. It's all lies. Very next, Job. Job 11 and verses 3 and 4. Should thy lies make men hold their peace? In other words, you, just because you're, you're the bully in the playground, going out and taking everyone's lunch money and threatening them if they say anything. So your lies, should that keep me quiet? And when thou mockest, shall no man take thee ashamed? For thou hast said, my doctrine is pure. This man been going around with our book, but he's a liar. He hates the book. He hates the power that is in the book. He's got his own book. He's got his own God, his own philosophy. 
So he's just a liar. And I am clean in thine eyes. And so the Job is saying, oh, oh, that God would speak and open his lips against thee. This man, there's no truth in him. Where are we going to go next? There's so many Psalms here. I think Psalms, there's one in Psalms 40. Did we read Psalms 40? three and four and he has put a new song in my mouth that's the truth of this gospel of spirit the gospel of reconciliation even praise unto our power many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the lord this man is frightened we're all coming together as hebrew israelites the 12 tribes we got the truth we trace our lineage back to our forefathers abraham isaac and jacob of which the promise was made and the covenant Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud. We don't care. We're not invested in what you are offering. So you can't threaten us. We know some of us will even have to give up our lives. Well, so be it. Nor such as turn aside to lies. You see? Many, O oh Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. To your threats, it's not going to work around here. Where next? Ezekiel 13, 22 and 23. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, eh? whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promise him life. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people, we are those people, out of your hand, out of the hand of the wicked. That's Malachi 1 and 4. Who's that? It's the Edomite wanting you to call him the white man. It's the wicked in the scripture. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, whose name is Yahweh. See, your lies <clears throat> will not be allowed to stand. Let's just finish up. Let's get Micah 6, 10 to 12. Are there yet treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the scant measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances, and with the bag of deceitful weights? There's nothing true about this man, for the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. You see, that's all that comes from this man, lie after lie. He can't speak the truth. Let's finish up with one here in Sirach 42, starting at 18. He seeketh out the speed of the, the most high power. The name is Yahweh. He seeketh out the deep and the heart and considereth their crafty devices. For the Lord knoweth all that may be known, and he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declareth the things that are past and for to come and reveal it the steps of hidden things. You can't hide from him. No thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he hath no need of any counselor. See, this man in power, he thinks he can, like he tried in the garden to sell Eve and upgrade. Oh no, you won't die. What about this? What about this power that I can offer? He's a liar. Oh, how desirable are all his works and that a man may see even to a spark. All these things live and remain forever for all uses and they are all obedient. All things are double one against another and he has made nothing imperfect. But this man is telling you otherwise, this white man, the devil in the scriptures. He's offering what he claims is an upgrade. He's coming with his devices. He wants to put this thing under your skin, cut into your flesh. He's going to upgrade the master's creation. Once you do that, you can do this and do that. That's what he's about to offer. He's offering it now. 
all things are double one against another and he hath made nothing imperfect one thing establisheth the good of another and who shall be filled with beholding his glory see this man with his lies claiming he can improve on the most high's creation seedless this seedless that gmos deforestation on a mass scale he's poisoned air land and sea there's nothing sacred to this man he's sitting up in our land these people they refer to as gutter rats quite rightly calling ourselves us it's not enough to take our stuff now he's claiming to be us and anyone who dares to open their mouth it's not true it's me this is me he said, oh, no, you're not you. So you can't even claim your own identity. This man has taken your identity and threatened that if you say who you are, then he mounts up his mighty army of liars in the media and all these people amongst us who are sellouts, who have so much to gain from what this man has to offer. They've taken their consolation now. So they're standing up for this man against their own people. So some of these scriptures are twofold. They're against us, the Hebrew Israelites, who have sold out the rejected amongst us, as well as the wicked headed up, the wicked himself who heads up the other 16 nations. So I won't stretch the lesson beyond where it needs to be. You've been listening to a Refuge of Lies. Shalom until the next one.